Okay. Deal. How do I do it? It's four hundred and twelve dollars a month. Okay. I got to go steal the money. I can steal five thousand. You could steal five grand from me, and I wouldn't even know it's gonna be like. Many people were wondering about when I'm going to release the video of the top richest forex traders in Africa. Well, today's episode we have the accurate list of the best five richest forex traders in Africa with supporting evidence. Before we even start make sure to set your YouTube to high quality for better experience viewing. At number 5. We have Jason Noah who is known to be the Forex King with his nickname from his hood, since he was a kid. He started Forex trading at the age of 18 years, after his father kicked him out for making a girl pregnant. He was faced with a huge challenge of being financially independent in his life. Jason Noah was born in South Africa Kimberley but was raised in Pretoria and his date of birth is the 17th of October, 1997. He's one of the youngest successful Forex traders in Africa. He's the co-founder of the company called Forex Kings and was founded in year 2016 when he was just 19 years old. Jason made a huge success in his trading career was able to invest $1,000 and got $100,000 which was an excellent strategy. With that being done, he was able to educate a lot of people around South Africa to learn how to trade and giving mentorships. Well, it made him a lot of money and was able to build himself his own Forex King's headquarters in South Africa. The entrepreneur is also passionate about music. At the age of 21, he established a record label called 012 Grounded. He has released a number of Jason Noah songs. Jason was seen driving expensive sport cars such as BMW M4 that's worth $86,000 and was also seen driving Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG that's worth $65,000. Plus, he was seen with other cars like Toyota Quantum and VW Golf 7. Jason also recently bought Audi R8 for a price of $140,000. About his house little we know about it, but his house is estimated to be around $400,000 and it is based in Pretoria. I'm sure you are wondering how much is Jason Noah worth this year? Well for your information he's currently worth $2.5 million as of year 2022 according to Slebspear website. I'm trading immediately after the check. So what happened is I took a gap year. This was five and, five and a half years ago, basically. And after that gap year, I made a girl pregnant, which is the biggest thing that changed my whole life and how I saw everything. So my main objective for me to start trading was just to get pampered. I started trading for Yo. 400 rand. I didn't think my trading journey would take off to such an extent that I would be in this position that I am today, only in two companies that are involved in the field. Yeah. So that's how I started. My whole objective was just to buy pampers and that just shows you know God will always have a plan for you. My plan was just to get there, but it shows you can actually get more out of this. Can do more out of it. Well, you be trapping. Moving on. At number four, we have Sandy Leshezi who is one of the youngest forex traders in Africa who became a millionaire at the age of 23 years. He's the co-founder of the company called Global Forex Institute that was founded in year 2013 and he was just 20 years Ile old. He is the co-owner and founder of Global Forex Institute and South Africa's youngest millionaire. Come listen to me speak about forex trading and how it can be a money generating vehicle for your business. Sandy Leshezi was born in Durban, KZN, South Africa and his date of birth is 1993. If you didn't know Sandile is indeed educated, he studied at the University of Technology in Durban and obtained a national diploma in public relations. It's very rare to find educated forex traders in the world, mostly are dropouts from school. Well, it's reported that he also has a wife and was married few years ago, although we were not invited. His forex career has been very challenging at the beginning when he was young, he said. He started taking risk in trading at the tender age. Sandele used his school fees money to trade and started selling muffins at school to gain more money to trade. Tuition fees for year, um, to go and pay um, for university and I actually took the entire amount and I threw it in the forex market. The hard work successful because after the thunderstorm, he then became a millionaire and was able to found his forex company. Some people are also curious about the house of Sandile Shezi together with his cars. He was seen driving a lot of expensive cars such as Maserati Gran Turismo that worth $300,000. He was also seen driving a Ferrari California that's worth $400,000. It's estimated that he has more cars but there's less information about his assets and earnings including his house. I'm sure you are asking yourself how much does Sandy Lachezzi worth today for your information his current net worth is $22 million according to Quick Read website as of year 2022. I think for me um 
a life lesson that, 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 that I've taken literally um, from when I started to where I am now is um, understanding that when you're building a business, you, you're not building a piggy bank. Um, you, you, you literally, um, it, it needs to go beyond that. And I think um, I've, I've really l reflected on my own journey. And I've also obviously looked at some of my peers who are doing well in business. And I've realized that not just in South Africa, in Africa, most of us, we, we establish businesses to, to fund a lifestyle. Um, and, and I think we really need to take things to the next level now and actually build something that is worth passing on to the next generation. Moving at number three, we got the most interesting person in the world who broke the world's record, who is Hush Puppy the Nigerian master. He started by selling clothes in the streets of Lagos, when life was difficult for him like any other Nigerian. So, he decided to start his online investment program since Nigeria is the only country in Africa that has the most developed technology ever. Then he founded his own company of trading and then became a public influencer on social media. He went viral on the internet to the whole world. Well, his real name is Arabas Ramon who was born in Nigeria, West Africa. For your information Hush Puppy story is kept classified, for some unknown reasons, and we have limited information about him. He became a millionaire in year 2017 when he left Africa, to the United States of America to scam innocent people. Well, it worked for him and his team until he became so greedy about money. He then decided to scam the whole world in Europe, America and Asia. He was seen driving a lot of expensive cars such as latest Royce Rolls Cullinan. He was also seen driving Ferrari 458 Spider and other cars like Lamborghinis and Mercedes Benzes. Little we know about Hush Puppy's house and other properties he claimed that he has. His net worth was $35 million according to Karmat website, before he was convicted to prison for his crimes. But, we all know what happens to the dark shall be revealed in the light. Unfortunately, he was arrested for being a fake billionaire and for scamming people around the world. In year 2021 he pleaded guilty for his actions of what he has done to the people. Hush Puppy stands as the biggest scammer of all time in the world and was named to be the most dangerous scammer in history of the world. Currently is in prison and still waiting for more sentences to come. Maybe he will be arrested 20 to 30 years since he already pleaded guilty for money laundering. At number 2. We have the famous Forex trader in Africa who is Ref Wayne. He started Forex at the age of 16 years when he was motivated by cryptocurrency exchange. Ref was born in South Africa Soweto which is the most popular ghetto in South Africa. His date of birth is the 3rd of March, 1995, and stands as the youngest successful Forex traders in Africa. But, in his journey life was so difficult for him because he dropped out from school, then started selling some cards for a living. But, he never gave up until he found his breakthrough in life in Forex trading since South Africa has 47% unemployment. He then founded his company called Forex AMG, that was founded in year 2014 when he was just 19 years old. The company helped Ref Wayne a lot because many people were taking his courses and he was not resting like any other Forex trader. In year 2017 Ref Wayne decided to write his own book which is called The Art of Trading and the other book called Armageddon. Well, he's an author who wrote some interesting books that will motivate you. According to Briefly SA and IFX Brokers website, Ref Wayne is the best Forex trader because he's the philanthropic. He likes to motivate and encourage people in success around the world. He was seen driving a lot of expensive cars such as Bentley Continental GT that's worth $250,000 and Ferrari California that's worth $150,000. He also has other various cars as well in his collection and little we know about his house. I'm sure you are wondering how much is Ref Wayne worth this year for your information is currently worth $500 million as of year 2022 and stands as the second richest Forex trader in Africa, according to Forbes India. Finally at number 1. We got the King of Kings, who is Cashflow who is known to be the richest Forex trader in Africa ever since he started trading in Africa. His real name is Jabulani Nkobo who was born in South Africa Durban and his date of birth is the 29th of May, 1985. Well, cash flow story is much different compared to other forex traders he used to work at Toyota dealership and other insurance investment company called SME he then decided to fund his own company because he wanted to be his own boss and make more money. After that he then started forex trading and investing in the online markets around the world. He's the co-founder of Cashflow Company that was founded in year 2014. His life changed from there because he was able to teach and trade for other people around South Africa. 
With that knowledge Jabulani got a lot of credit and was interviewed in many television shows. He was then named as best richest forex trader. But he's not making money from trading only, he has other businesses in Johannesburg such as property. Since property is a good long term physical investment that can't make a loss. For your information he's also a book author who wrote the book called Naked that went viral across the world. Plus, his book was read by Robert Kiyosaki the man who wrote the book called Rich Dad Poor Dad and he's the biggest author in the world. With that, Jabulani Nkobo was able to meet a lot of people overseas and started doing businesses in Europe. He then met the famous actor called Antonio Banderas who is known to act movies like Zorro and Uncharted including the movie called Security. Antonio is one of the richest actors in Europe with a net worth of 60 million dollars. Jabulani was also seen driving expensive cars such as the Porsche 911 GT4S which is worth $250,000 and was also seen driving Maserati Quattroport that's worth $120,000. He was also seen driving other cars like BMW i8 and Lamborghinis. The price of his house in Durban is estimated to be around $3 million. Well, for your information Jabulani Nkobo is currently worth $2.4 billion as of year 2022 and stands as the richest forex trader in Africa according to Zashe's website. Yes! Watch as I become one, the future billionaire. Remember, there's cash flow and there's others. <laughs> there you have it, the top 5 richest forex traders in Africa and sorry we couldn't do the top 10 because many of the information about forex traders are false. So, we as Marshall TV decided that we will do only 5 known forex traders in Africa. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, also please like this video and like share it around the world like using the link in the description. Ferrari, Until next time like we release another video stay tuned to watch my other videos on Marshall TV channel. How many people can do that? <laughs> if you can drive a Ferrari at 120 km per hour, you can definitely trade. So that's why people say forex trading is gambling. It's not gambling. If you discipline and you know what you're doing, you can never call forex trading gambling. Yeah. I'm here today because of forex trading. I've traveled around the world because of forex trading. That's nice. I only have my trick history and geography. As you can hear, my English is very limited, but the most important thing is I make money. I teach people who speak foreign English how to make money. Okay. I teach people with PhDs how to make money. Because I've learned to understand the language of money, that's what is more important. Mm -hmm. and, and you also teach people who have done economics. Yes, you teach them about definitely. Money. Yes. PhDs, you name them. I don't know which one comes first, degree, PhD, but all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a PhD then?